Hey guys, John Paul here, and I figured I'd get a quick video in. I am preparing to go on a family trip for a week. We're going to head out to Arizona and visit my family. Uh, my wife, our younger son, and I are going, and this is obviously not a photo trip, but I love doing photography. It, it's what I enjoy to do with my time, and I always like to go prepared. I also make my living this way, so if there's something really beautiful happening. Maybe the flowers are blooming or I go for a hike and find something really wonderful. Um, I like to have my gear with me. Now, given that over the years, I've learned not to bury myself in it. Meaning I do not ruin the family vacation with my gear. I bring it, I have it there and I do not use it unless I've got something very specific planned. And uh, that, that comes from research, and when I get there, I watch the weather, I talk to local people that I know, that sort of thing. So let me give you a quick rundown of the ridiculous amount of stuff I'm bringing, knowing full well that it will probably um, remain behind the bed, on the floor, in the guest room at my sister's house. So let's take a quick look. First of all, I think obviously I'm, I'm bringing my my small pack. Um, this has my 5x7 uh, metal field camera in it with the 4x5 reducing back and it's also got the 6x17 centimeter panoramic back. So um, that way with one setup I can shoot in either perspective I want. This is not a trip where my 8x10 is really appropriate to bring. So I'll slide this over. Along with that in there, I have both um, Ilford FP4 4x5 inch uh, black and white film loaded in film holders as well as Fuji Provia 100F. I've got four holders each in there. That really should keep me. Um, I also have the same two films but in 120 roll film for the six by 17 centimeter panoramic back. So I can always just grab the pack and go. If I get lucky and conditions are great and I run through that film, I, I use this little soft cooler and it, it just tempers the, the temperature a little bit. And in here, I'll show you what I've got. Um, I've got Ilford Fuji and Kodak films. Um, I have a bunch of 4x5 film holders here that are pre-loaded, color and black and white as well, so hopefully I don't need to do a bunch of film changing. I've got my little blower, and I also have more rolls of uh, black and white, uh, as well as color film here, and I've got an extra cable release. Um, you never know. I, I can be tough on gear. Um, I don't worry about the gear as much as I do the experience. So if I break one, lose one, there we go. If I need to reload film, I've got my film changing tent. And uh, anyone that shoots film knows it's vital. Given that I'm just doing 4x5 inch film and not 8x10 inch, I could absolutely get away with a film changing bag. I'm spoiled. I love the film changing tent. I like the space it gives me. I feel as though I get less dust on my film. Um, and, you know, it's, I've got it. I might as well use it. This is not a backcountry trip. Everything's going to fit in the car. Um, the other thing I've got, just in case we see wildlife, because there is wildlife around my sister's house, I've got my Nikon 200 to 400 uh, F4 zoom. Amazing lens, gives me a great range. I also have my pack with my digital SLR, which is a Nikon D800, as well as my other lenses for that. And the primary purpose of that these days is right what you're looking through. Um, I'm using that camera strictly because I own it already as my video camera for my YouTube channel. Um, and finally, um, this is something I thought I'd show you guys. Um, I've got my, my tripod, and this is an older Gitzo 1325. It's pretty heavy, it's kind of bomber, which I need for large format. Um, 
let's see here, I'll take the cover off. I've got my really right stuff BH55 ball head, which is nice, heavy duty. I can use it for wildlife, I can use it for my large format gear, and I like the fact that it's small and compact, it makes it easy to travel with, as opposed to uh, a three-way head that has handles on it and stuff. I've got one of those, I just don't use it. Um, and I'll share with you, I, in order, I, I shoot, as you know, in bad conditions. A lot of times it's windy. So, underneath the tripod here, if you can see it, I, I just pulled the bolt out temporarily. I took some climbing webbing, made a loop out of it, cut a little hole in there, and I put a big washer underneath the, the bolt um, for the tripod head in here. And so I hung a little loop, and to that I attached this little carabiner. So I can strap my bag onto it. I can, I can put a guy line on there and tie it to something, and just keep it from blowing away. The other thing, and maybe it's time to change it, but I've, I've got uh, duct tape on here. And this is not because the tripod legs are damaged or broken. It's because everything gets damaged and broken. And I like to just be able to grab some duct tape right here. Um, I'll be honest, while I've used it a couple times for equipment, like putting this foot back on, um, which I need to retape, um, more often than not, I've actually used it for myself. Cut myself, cut my clothing apart, um, break a finger, something like that. You can always use duct tape to, to put yourself back together. So, um, again, the, the big deal here is I always go prepared. I always have my gear with me. And it's not just because I'm a professional photographer. The truth and the fact of the matter is there's almost nothing I'd rather be doing. So when I go someplace, it's vacation. I find the best time for me to work is everyone else is sleeping in and God knows I need the sleep, but there's nothing better than getting up early. I'm not disturbing anyone else. I'm not taking up their time. I'm not ruining their vacation. I get out, I shoot a beautiful sunrise, or to be honest, just to be out there hiking with my big pack on, you know, I call it exercise, and I'll get back in time for breakfast. Um, nobody's feelings are worse for wear, and I, I'm passionate about photography. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, please go ahead, bang that, that like button, the thumbs up, if, um, if you would like, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, please leave comments. And if there's anything you would like to see on here, again, I'm trying to make this a community, write what you'd like to see in the comments. Go ahead and send me a private message. Um, I want to produce content that will help people, that will enable you guys to learn. And also, for my collectors out there, fans of photography, fans of the outdoors, I want to produce um, content that you guys are going to enjoy, be inspired by, um, pick up some tips that will make your experience a little bit better. Thanks for watching. Um, get out there and happy shooting.